here on JKTV, we are delighted to welcome on as our first guest this evening, Mr. Tepeluk. Now, he is the ambassador to Luxembourg from the United States of America. So, yes, we'd like to welcome on, please, Mr. Tepeluk. Excellent. Obviously, American ambassador to Luxembourg. You've had a busy old time lately. I mean, America can't keep out of the news. Whether you love it or hate it, yes. one thing is true. The USA is always in the news every day. Yes. So what's, what's going on with the United States? Well, you know, we've uh, had war declared on us by the Al-Qaeda. We've lost thousands of people. We've uh, liberated two countries. Afghanistan and Iraq, 50 million people are now free. To hey, do with support. some help from the British? With the British, not in a big way, not a small way, a sure, big well, thank way. Thank you. Thank you very much. Tony Blair is... Yes, very, thank you, Tony Blair. Tony Blair is a very loved person in the United States of America. Right. And they're still there. The Brits are still there. We have a lot of... We have uh, Luxembourg troops in Afghanistan, which is a great help. Sure. And um, we're making great progress. Sure. Now, I know as an ambassador, yes. you get to meet lots of people, don't you? Oh. It's the best part of the job. So, like, tell me, for example, in the past couple of months, what, uh, what interesting people have you met? Well, I was at the Kennedy Center Awards in January in Washington and met, saw President Bush at the White House. Oh, oh you, met, you met the president? Well, he's an old friend. He's an old friend? Yes. Get out of here. No. no. That's why I'm here. <laughs> you know, it's all because of him. Tell me, what, did he get you the job? Yeah, absolutely. I'm proud of him. <laughs> Keep it in the family. I know. <laughs> No. Now, actually, a little bird tells me that you are also a friend of uh, George Bush Sr. Yes. My wife worked for him and I worked for him. What's he like? He's great. The senior is fabulous. I can't think of a greater, greater uh, historic moment to have your son elected President of the United States, having you been the President of the United States. And he's living to enjoy all that. So it's, uh, he's, he's going to go down in history as a, as a great president. Now, I know that you've been actively involved in the past in American elections. Yes. Do you get excited by all of that? Yes. Uh, I mean, they're big into banners in the States. Yeah. Whenever I watch TV, there they are, you know. We have uh, banners, yes, we do. Well, Our what, politicians have banners. Well, some people have bad eyesight, so they've got to have <laughs> sure. you know, big banners. Oh, so is that Bush trying to reach the no, old, no. old age votes? No, listen, this, no, in Florida. Right, right. right. No. very important swing no. state. No, it's, uh, this campaign is going to be very energetic. It has started very early, and it's going to be extremely tenacious, and it's going to probably go on for eight months. Now, tell me, American elections, they're quite mean, aren't they? they no, I mean, no. I find it quite scary, you know, the, uh, the kind of TV commercials they come out with. They're very aggressive against each other, aren't uh, they? Yes, they are. This is, the, this is probably, uh, from a modern history standpoint, we've never had the two parties and the two candidates representing the parties at total different odds on almost every issue. So this is really about the heart and soul of America, this race. Do you worry at all the fact that America is going to the polls whilst you are involved in so many conflicts around the world? Do you think that sends the wrong message no, no, to no, no. your in enemies? Many, no, I don't think so. I think in many ways it's going to probably strengthen the president's hand, I believe, because the issues that we have right now are so serious. I mean, for the first time in their lives, Americans are actually worried about security. I mean, right. you know, we've never had to worry about that anymore. Sure. Like, we never had to worry about public diplomacy anymore before. <laughs> but now we've got to worry about public diplomacy and communicating through, through shows like yours to people, let them know what's going on in America. It's a oh. whole new world. So, um, in the long run, I think that uh, I think what we're going through is going to make us a stronger country. Because I know in the past, Americans were not keen on traveling, were they? Well, is that fair to say? I mean, for example, is it true? I th am I right in saying that President Bush himself... He hadn't been out of the United States, had he? Well, he's been out of the United States. He just hadn't been over to Luxembourg, you know? Yeah, well, how can he miss Luxembourg out? If you're going <laughs> to come to Europe, how can he miss us? No, it's, 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 he, no, a lot of people in America, and especially certain states, you know, certain states in the center of the country, you know, the Texas is the world and the Oklahoma is the world. Those folks there, there's less of a, less of a desire or an interest back in the older days, 30, 40 years ago, of traveling, but now everybody travels because it's so easy and so it's so inexpensive to travel. Sure, sure. So before you had come to Luxembourg, I mean, had you heard of it? Oh yeah, I was here before. Oh, you've been here before? Yeah, in 19, the 1970s I was here. It's a gorgeous oh. country. It's, uh, I'm the luckiest American in the world. I'm serving my country in the most prestigious job at a time of conflict. And more importantly, uh, I'm in the best country. <laughs> hey, absolutely, I couldn't agree with yeah. you more. This is the best place. So. Um, uh, there's a great love of America here, and it's due greatly to the 5,000 troops that are buried down the street. Sure. 
the capital that they de deposited here it makes my job very very easy but I am very lucky and I've enjoyed every moment of it and the Luxembourgers and their official family have been uh, an absolute uh, gem to work for and mm -hmm. with it's been wonderful absolutely fantastic uh, well, it's been absolutely great having it's you great. on I this wish show luck tonight. In your, I wish you luck in the new job. Thank you so much. Nice new show. I, I, uh, this is very, very important. Well, you right? have to make sure you tune in. Oh, I will. I'll watch it. Don't great. worry about it, Jim. Excellent. Good luck. You hear me? Mr. Tepeluk, Ambassador to the United States of America, right here to Luxembourg. Thank you very much indeed for coming on. Thank you. Thank you very much. Cheers for now.